Hey everybody, um, so uh, Dungeons and Lasers just showed up yesterday. Um, this, well, so they sent me a ton of stuff, but the funny thing is, is that half of this, like literally half of it, I ordered this and these, and then the rest of it is all like stretch goals and, um, and like Kickstarter extras. Um, so, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to say my usual spiel about Kickstarter. Um, Kickstarter is not a store. When you, when you buy in to Kickstarter, you, you have no guarantee that you're ever going to get the actual, um, product. It's, you know, it's like back it because you believe in it, back in it because you believe in the company or, you know, you just think it's really cool you want to it's that's the whole idea with like crowdfunding sometimes it falls through there are scammers um but you know it's cool when like a year later everything shows up and you have all the cool like extras and and also with um with archon studios so this is the first thing that i've ever backed of theirs but they uh, uh, so the the project launched on may 4th 2020. One year later, to the day, I got my, you know, everything that I ordered. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good, you know, like you can't really ask much more of them. But they, they don't really have a store yet, it doesn't look like, like they just, they're just doing, they're doing Kickstarters. So it's like they, they did Dungeons and Lasers 1, this is Dungeons and Lasers 2. I, I went all fantasy, but the, the extras, um, like the stretch goals and stuff, it's, um, it's like half, you know, half fantasy, half, um, uh, sci-fi kind of stuff. So, um, but you know, it's all like, it's all, they call it universal scale. I would call it like heroic scale, but all of their stuff works together. Like you could, you can mix and match the fantasy and the, um, the, uh, uh, sci-fi stuff. So anyways, yeah, one thing that I was super excited for was the, um, <laughs> the, the, the Xeno Dragon. Uh, that was the one sci-fi thing that I actually bought because I thought it was just too cool. Now I'm, I'm a big fan of aliens. So, uh, ho hopefully, uh, we're going to paint the, um, the Xeno Dragon soon on the channel. <laughs> have to get through it's it's going in my power shame for now but i'm excited for it because i think it's really cool so all right let's do some um some unboxing all right guys let's see what we got here so first off i'm going to show you what i actually ordered so this is from this is just the core set and this is not new this is the the same core set from uh, Dungeons and Lasers One. This is the fantasy core set. So this is the this is going to get you the the floors and the walls. Um, good size box. Good size. I'm, I'm assuming good size amount of floors and walls in here. And um, basically, they they sort of re-release this. So, like I mentioned in the little intro thing, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the first Kickstarter was kind of wrapping up when they did the second one. So they were like fulfilling orders as they were doing Dungeons & Lasers 2. Okay, that's definitely a lot of walls and floors um so this is like heavy duty plastic the uh, it's think like uh gw plastic it's very but it's but it's thick like you can see how thick the uh the walls are there and let's see i want to i'm gonna clip a couple of these guys off Um, so the, the system is designed so that you 
clip the um, these parts, these little pieces into the floors and then you secure them. It's a it's a system that just kind of snaps together. I'm not entirely sure how long these wall sections are. So we'll find out. So um yeah, I've got a floor section here. I just wanted to point out these are made in Poland. Um, the uh, the company Archon Studios is a Polish company, and it looks like they make their own uh, uh, sprues, you know, their own um, plastic. So that could be part of the reason why they delivered everything on time consistently with uh, with everything that was going on with COVID and uh, shipping from China, etc. So anyways, I've got, or here's one little floor section and then a, a short wall or a, a door section. And, uh, and then here's the, um, here's a, a clip. So you can just see how everything just kind of snaps together like that. And then that's the that's just the the basic system that's you have let's oh, you know what, how long are these? So not not inches. Uh and then they do not have like grids on them for movement. Uh let me grab a mini. So I mean you can there is sort of like it's it's very hard to read just with the naked eye if you wanted to use a grid system. But it looks like they're about 32 millimeters square, the sections. So just counting out. So if I know that these are too wide for long, then the sections look like they're about 32 millimeters, so just under five inches. Okay, and the uh, the, the the new thing, the Dungeons and Lasers two part, and then you can see they've even got the logo up here. This is Dungeons and Lasers two. The old one was just the core fantasy box. I basically got three of the same thing. Um, <laughs> so what I wanted to use these for was for dungeon crawl. And uh, I wanted to make, you know, just have like modular rooms that I could make up or if I want to use these for like Frostgrave or D&D, the two greatest tabletop games in the world, miniature tabletop games right now, um, then uh, I wanted to use some of these um, cathedral Curse Cathedral pieces, and then they had other ones that were like Dwarven Mines, and then uh, like, um, oh shoot, there was, a, there was a couple, two other fantasy versions of these, and then you got to choose three different ones, but I really liked these um, Cathedral pieces, so I wanted these. I think they had a, they had an Eldritch, like a, a Necromancer, um, what do you call it? Like Warlock Library. They had, um, you know, there's a there's a few different ones, and not to mention, of course, there's all of the sci-fi. And I think that one of them was actually uh, Xenomorph kind of theme, and I was tempted to get that, but it wouldn't get used. These will get used. Um, as much as I love aliens and Xenomorphs, you know, um, these are going to get used in all of the fantasy games that I play. So, you know, it was by design that I got um, a bunch of these so to, to mix and match about the same amount of these as the core box. So these are the same. And I... Uh, I'm happy. I got what I wanted. <laughs> the price was right, too. So these are, are very much the same. It's the same kind of layout you have 
your uh, long walls, short walls, and then the little connector pieces and your floor tiles. And then the floor tiles are not reversible. Um, not sure, I think, I can't remember. No, I think that they've never been reversible. I don't know where I got and where I'm remembering that from. But the, uh, you can see that the quality of the plastic is really good. Um, and then the the part of the reason I part of the reason I think that they do the Kickstarters is to keep their costs down, because if they have a whole bunch of orders for the same thing, um, that that's they can you know produce a whole bunch and get it all done in the factory, make their profit, do another Kickstarter and you know just keep the ball rolling that way so they do have an actual web store um there's not much on it though it's just like you can buy some minis and stuff like that and then there's links to um uh the kickstarters like they've done a few board games one that one that i really liked was Lo logue league of ancient defenders <laughs> which was a moba um, mobile online battle arena inspired, you know, um, board game. It's like a good and evil kind of um, board game thing. But you can see that these just, they all snap together kind of the same way. And then you have your little uh, short wall pieces that they, they fit together um, with these uh, triangle edges. So, not the uh, most complicated design, but efficient and effective. Okay, the other thing that I actually ordered was the Xeno Dragon. <laughs> Very clearly, um, aliens inspired. And, um, you know, I, I mean, maybe a little bit of copyright infringement, but totally awesome. Uh, I hope they don't get sued. So the um, with the uh, with the Kickstarter, you got to pick out well the one that I paid for. Got to pick out one dragon, and then everybody got um, an extra dragon for free, but they picked it out. So let's look at this guy. Definitely a good size. Um, so, you know, really, oh geez, small base for a, a really large uh, mini. Oh, we've got some little uh, dragon, necro dragon eggs. <laughs> And then, good instructions. It's, I just want to see if things key together the way that they're supposed to. You know, that's an issue sometimes. Alright, so I did a little bit of uh, sub-assembly, kind of just testing fits on things and there's, you know, a little tiny bit of cleanup in like kind of awkward places like in uh, joins, you know, kind of tight little joins and things like that. Or uh, on places that are supposed to be flat. There's a sprue, you know, that's a little bit awkward to clean up. Um, but things, you know, uh, solid A-. minus. Um, yeah, definitely good qual really good quality plastic and just, you know, a little bit of cleanup, nothing that a sharp X-Acto blade can't fix. So this guy is cool. I'm excited about this. All right, so that's what I ordered. Um, and I just looked and all in, I paid $100. 
So, um, <laughs> let's get into the free stuff that they sent me. So what I paid for was called the Dungeon Master kind of level pledge. Um, you get um, one core set and then three room choices and one dragon choice. So, and then if you wanted more dragons, you could pay, it was, um, looks like it was $35 for each um, extra dragon. And this one is, was just an add-on. This is uh, one of the ones that, or the one that everybody got free, I'm assuming, or we just got a random one, uh, depending. So, anyways, let's see. Let's take a look at this guy. It's an Eastern Dragon. Very cool looking, I mean, awesome design. Um, you know, again, kind of similar thing. Very good quality plastic and simple, you know, pretty simple to put together. Um, good directions, you know, done in a CAD program, but yeah, looking good. Okay, first box of um, stretch goals. So these were unlocks, you know, during the campaign. Um, d every day or when they were hitting their milestones, there's just, uh, you know, more and more unlocks as time goes on. And, uh, these are just going to be kind of mixed, uh, random fantasy and sci-fi stuff that they just felt like making. Um, I like these bridges though. These bridges are really cool. So, you know, didn't order any of these, but they're, yep, there's a lot of this stuff. <laughs> so, I want to see if this is all fantasy. Yeah, this all looks fantasy on here. Actually, maybe this whole box could be fantasy. I think so. So far, everything this box is all fantasy. And then it's just lots of dungeon dressing kind of stuff. You've got your, <laughs> you've got your, um, your obligatory barrels, um, fires. It looks like some kind of NPCs, maybe a statue. Um, torture devices, you know, pretty standard dungeon fare, a blacksmith sign. In English, too. Uh, that's interesting. I wonder why they chose to do that in English. Um, and then... Yeah, lots and lots. of oh, got an Iron Maiden. A little dungeon, you know, pools. Uh, <laughs> your standard, standard dungeon fare, dungeon dressing. But lots and lots of it. But again, you know, looking really good. These look like extra um, short walls. Like these, these look like they will go along with the system and plug in and be um, short walls. Got a fireplace and then a a gate. I am kind of curious to see what the the sci-fi stuff look, looks like because it seems like it was very geared towards games like. Uh, 40k and infinity which I used to play don't anymore but used to okay box two um I imagine this one is not all fantasy because it's probably about half and half And then if you didn't know what the um, the sci-fi terrain looks like, you can kind of see some of it here in the background. Looks very, very 40K-ish. Yep, 
definitely got some sci-fi. And then these do look to be inch wide. But these will go with their standard walls. Um, got like a, a plasma um, plasma barrier <laughs> thing for the wall system. Got one of the bridges here. Awesome. Looks great. Definitely use that. And then your uh, your standard kind of computer consoles. Oh, a sci-fi bridge. So you get one fantasy bridge, one sci-fi bridge. Or they might there might just be two sprues of this. The same. Th uh, probably not. Probably not. Talking out of my butt. Got a goblin. Looks like. tech priest or something, statue, and then a Dalek, looks like a Dalek over here. You know, not going to say copyright infringement, but um, borderline, but in a good way. Flamer, Meltagun, Ooze, standard fare, you know. Dungeon sci-fi stuff. Bar. <laughs> sci-fi bar. Cool stuff. Crystals. And box three of uh, stretch coals. <laughs> Definitely got a lot of stretch coals. Um, you know, with Kickstarter, a lot of times they do the script. The stretch coals are just they're kind of uh, like, they're there to get you to buy in. It's like a special edition type thing. Like a lot of times, if you buy a game from, you know, Simon or Fantasy Flight or something like that. Oh, we've got lots of extra clips. That is really nice. And they're end clips. So I, that is cool. I, I'm glad that they did that. That's really neat. Just because, you know, what if you didn't want your clips like sticking out of the side and, and you need extra clips for your walls and things like that. Um, that's cool. So, no, this is still, it's, it looks like it's still a mix of uh, fantasy and sci-fi. In fact, this might all be fantasy again. Looks like, no, there's a little bit of sci-fi, but not much. So different wall sections, and we've even got a little roof section here. And it looks like that's the new one, that's the um, Dungeons and Lasers 3. That's what they're doing, is they're doing some kind of modular buildings um, with that set. That's a cool, it's just a, ca a cauldron with a thing wrapped around it, some kind of a worm thing. And another fantasy bridge, that definitely get used. Awesome. So yeah, they stuck a little ad in the box. I will show it to you. This is the uh, this is the new one, and um, yeah, very very cool. Um, you know, I'm a sucker for a good modular system. Um, you know, I. I just, I love it when I can snap things together like Legos and just make whatever I want out of it and throw it in a box and put it away. So, and you know, like, I, I always say like Kickstarter is not a store. You do not have any guarantee that you're going to get what you order, but these guys delivered. I just looked at the Kickstarter and the delivery date for this, for uh, number two was August of 2021 and it's May. So they delivered, they wait, you know, they uh, under promised and over delivered. So good on them. And uh, I'm happy. I, I think it's awesome. It's just a really cool system. So I give them an A, A plus overall. Really happy. Especially considering that I got this giant box. This is not, you know, this isn't everything. This is just like the... The wall sections um, in here so or in some of the stretch goals so yeah definitely going to keep me busy for a while 
But anyways, thanks for watching guys and you know, take care of yourselves, stay safe, stay, stay sane and we're gonna get through it. Uh, I just got my vaccine. So, and I hope you're all doing well. I hope nobody's lost any loved ones or anything. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Take care.